All right, welcome back. Now, it will see talented entrepreneurs, uh, per, uh, performers, publishers, designers, filmmakers, DJs, and visual artists from 14 African countries share their local experiences as entrepreneurs in the creative and cultural field in their countries. Well, that's the African Arts Institute's 10-day cultural entrepreneurship program taking place from the 20th to the 29th of July in Cape Town. The creatives will also explore what it means to be a cultural entrepreneur within the landscape of social innovation. Now, to tell us more, we're joined from our Seapoint Studios is a general manager of the African Arts Institute Melissa Rodriguez. Melissa, good morning. Welcome to Morning Live. Morning, Lebo. Thank you for having me. Let's talk about this 10-day uh, business program. Who is it aimed at and what inspired it? Well, the African Arts Institute has been running this program for about four years now. Um, it's under the banner of the African Cultural Leadership Program. And uh, the leadership program consists of three different types of courses, one of them being an entrepreneurship course. So we've partnered up with a, a local institute called the Cape Craft and Design Institute uh, to take um, various people, entrepreneurs, artists, activists through an intensive program so they can explore their business practice, but also explore what it means to be you know, working in, in such a challenging uh, environment uh, that, that we find ourselves in um, across the continent. How are these musicians, designers and creatives in general selected? Well, it's an open call uh, process. Um, however, what does help is if you belong to a network. Um, we work very closely with Arterial Network which is a pan-African uh, activist uh, advocacy civil society network present in about 40 African countries. And uh, once you belong to a network, of course, through newsletters, Facebook, social media, you'll be hearing about various uh, uh, programs that we, that we offer. Um, and also, if you sign up to our newsletter at the African Arts Institute um, through our um, website, um, if you like our Facebook page, then you can also apply to the various opportunities that we have on offer. Um, and then it's just basically um, quite a rigorous selection process. You have to write essays, uh, you get interviewed via Skype, um, and then um, you're selected based, based on, on merit. Let's talk about the 178 uh, trainees that have graduated uh, from this program. Talk to us a little bit about that. Well, it's really exciting because we've been running this, uh, like I said, for a number of years, but we have partners in, across the continent. So we have a partner group 30 in Senegal, um, we have in Morocco, Kenya, uh, Cameroon, and all our partners who are like-minded institutions like ourselves, they take care of the various regions. So in Morocco, um, Racine's takes care of the North Africa region. And so we have trainings in English and in French. Uh, and these trainees are then uh, put through various programs and are connected through an alumni network. And uh, really the idea is to groom leaders, that's through the leadership courses, to groom trainers who can uh, impart knowledge to their communities back home, as well as um, entrepreneurs who can um, uh, you know, explore the economic potential of the cultural and creative industries. And hopefully these three stakeholders within the cultural sector can work together to uh, create a more sustainable, more vibrant, um, a more um, internationally profiled sector uh, of our continent uh, so that we can compete on, on a global level. Right. So really it's these 178 change makers, we call them, they, they are the hope for, for our continent. Now there's a free public debate and performance on the 28th of July. Talk to us about that. Well, this is very exciting because, you know, we, we support these uh, artists to come to Cape Town for 10 days. Um, however, we would be remiss not to kind of expose them to a wider public audience. So on Tuesday, the 28th of July, we'll be hosting a free public debate around the topic of cultural entrepreneurship, what it means to be uh, a cultural activist, a change maker in our society. 
Um, and then people can attend. Uh, it's at the District 6 Homecoming Center on 15 Batenkan Street on Tuesday, the 28th of July from half past five. But what's also very special is that during these 10 days, these uh, entrepreneurs will also be showcasing their work. We're going to be giving them a project. So they're going to be have, they have to put together an event and uh, they'll be basically exposing their talents to to a public audience and so we welcome everybody there'll be some snacks uh, and uh, some merriment and so we really hope that a lot of people will be able to interact with our entrepreneurs who come from very far-flung places Eritrea, Liberia, Gambia, Ghana, Kenya, Malawi, Zimbabwe, Lesotho, South Africa so this is really a unique opportunity to, to rub shoulders with very interesting people and learn about what is happening in these countries. Thank you so much for talking to us, General Manager of the African Arts Institute, uh, Belissa Rodriguez, speaking to us about the organization uh, bringing together 23 African cultural entrepreneurs to Cape Town for a 10-day business program from the 20th to the 29th of July 2015. That's all happening in the, well, for now, though, let's say a very good morning to Ernie Smith.